Hey guys, uh, welcome to the Gypsy Food Network. Tonight we're going to make a peach pie and we're going to have a cup of coffee with it. So I want to show you guys how easy it is. I made my crust. I'm going to roll it out. And all you do is you make the crust. I showed you guys how to do it before. And you're just going to make it, spread it out, and just keep turning here until you get it doesn't have to be too thin and it doesn't have to be too thick and we got our pie crust here now you don't have to butter your pan for your pie because for the simple reason is it's got enough butter and a lot enough um, shortening in here that it's not gonna stick okay so we know that it's gonna fit there then we're gonna get it and we're gonna roll it like this onto the rolling pin put our pie, pie plate right there and then we're just going to roll it right back off, okay? And then we're going to do this slowly. Just lift it and put it so you can flatten it down. And what you want to do, we're going to make a little fancy pie here. Uh, I thought I had my knife here. Hold on one second. We're going to cut this off. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm just using a butter knife. And really what you're showing them is the decorations because one of the girls on BuzzNet wanted to see how you make it, correct? Yes. The decorations. She wanted to know how to make uh, the pie with the decorations that I had. Okay, so that one is done, okay? So we're gonna leave it right there. I'm gonna get out of my way. We're gonna leave it there on the side. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna pick all of this up, and we're gonna get the second ball, because this is for a two pie crust uh, recipe that's on the uh, YouTube, and you're just gonna go like so, just to get it down flat, because we're gonna make some scripts now. And we're going to put some more powder here, which is flour. Okay. We're going to flatten it out. And then we're going to put some of, uh, some of this on there. And we're going to roll this out. And what we want is to make it nice and not too thin, not too heavy. But we're going to make it so that we can cut our strips. Like I said, this is going to be a little fancy one, so we're going to use our little rotator here to make our strips, and we're just going to go like so. We're going to cut them, and we're going to make it like a basket weave, and then we're going to put some little trimmings on the top. We're going to cut out the uh, the little pie decorations. Okay. Then what you're going to do is just pick it up like this and roll it up. Well, I don't have to because it's not that thin. But we're going to get our pie. We're going to put in our pie stuff. I have two cans here because they're small cans. And this is a uh, peach. You can do it with any one that you want. And this is peach filling. I got my oven set at 350 degrees. And when I finish my pie, I'm going to leave it in there for 60 minutes, 55 to 60 minutes. I'm going to get our second pie. This is an 8-inch pie plate. Okay? That's why I'm putting two of them in there. And then what we're going to do is pour it like so. I'm going to take some sugar. I always like more uh, sugar in mine, but you don't have to. You can put the sugar twin if you want. Okay, and then this is what we're going to do. Now, we're going to get one of these strips. We're going to place it like so. Okay, we're not going to mash it down as of yet. We get our next strip. 
and the next one. Well, since this one's a little thicker, I'm going to put this one in the center. Move that one there. Put this one here. And move this like so. Okay? Now, let me get the next strip. I'm going to put it down. And I'm going to pick this one up. Put that one flat and put that one down. Okay? Then we're going to get this. Lift this up here and put it like so. And then we're going to lift this one. Okay, I need one more strip. There's another strip. And that one goes like so. And this one goes underneath and on top. Okay, now this is what we got so far. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to get our milk. We're going to put some milk there. This is just a sealer, like a glue. So you put on top. Okay, so just so it can seal up. And I know I'm trying to rush here because I know I ain't got that much time on here. That's how you do it. Just to let it. And then you're going to get your fork. You're going to make your little marks here by pulling it back like so. That makes the outside edge. Okay. Kind of matches the little ridges. And then we're going to get our knife. And we're going to do the same thing by cutting off these excess ones off. Put your pie in the back there. The leftovers, just get it out of your way. What we're going to do is we're going to use a little heart shape um, cookie cutter. You can buy them at the Michaels. It's a craft store. I know the girls know about it. Okay, now what we're going to also do is we're going to put some there and I'm using this baby one with the little scallops. Punch it down. Now I already put a little uh, milk there. We're going to put it there. I'm going to put the next one. I'm going to cut out a few here so we can get it going. And then we're going to get our brush. Every other one. There. Okay. Now these are going to pop up real nice. It's going to be nice and long. Um, and brown stuff. Cut my squares out here. My little hearts. This is good for a little Valentine one if you guys want to make it. You guys are putting out a little Valentine party for the kids or somebody. Okay. Almost done, guys. Okay, those are the hearts. We got one more here. And the pie is almost done. And I'm going to pop it in the oven. I'm going to brush it with the milk on top. This helps it get brown. And makes it look pretty. You can also do it in egg whites. You don't have to. Uh, egg, but you don't have to. Okay. Guys, I just sprinkled some sugar on top. Now I'm going to pop it in the oven. Okay, guys. The pie is ready. I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like. Uh, I want to thank um, all the uh, subscribers and all the friends. God bless everybody. Hope you enjoyed it, happy girl. And the BuzzNet fans. Hope you guys all enjoyed this.